Howdy y'all, welcome back to Zeman Outdoors. It is Wednesday, April 20th. I am packed up, I've got a couple days off of work. The fiance's out on her bachelorette party. So I'm going turkey hunting. So this is my first turkey hunt ever. So uh, I have to get out there early. I'm gonna pattern my shotgun. I'm gonna do a little bit of scouting and hopefully get on some turkeys pretty quickly. I also have a few uh, property chores I'm gonna be doing, putting up a, a ladder stand and a couple stuff for the deer season. So stay tuned, I hope you enjoy this video. Okay. Place. Wait, place. Wait. So I just got to the property. It's about 1.30ish. It's very windy outside, so I am going to pattern my shotgun now. Then I'm gonna do some scouting, a little bit of work around the property. I've gotta fix a couple feeders. I'm gonna set some raccoon traps as well. Um, been seeing a lot of raccoons. As you can see, there's bugs everywhere. But so I'm gonna go pattern my shotgun. I'll show you all how I do that. And then we'll go do a little bit of property work and see if uh, I can roost a turkey tonight. All right guys, it's very windy out here. So hopefully you can hear me, but I've got our target back here at about 20 yards. And I am going to be shooting my Benelli Nova pump. It's a 12 gauge. I've got two different rounds of shells. I've just got a heavy dove load that I'm gonna start with so I don't burn through all my long beard uh, shells here. So I've got my shotgun. I've got two different types of shells. I've got some Winchester long beard XP and then just some Remington heavy dove shells. So I'm gonna start with the dove shells first. I've got my BOG death grip here as a good uh, mount. If you're interested in this tripod, I've got a review about it. I really love this thing. And then like I said, I've got a target set up down there at 20 yards. Oh, and if y'all uh, have watched my videos, you may notice it's a little different out here. We had uh, a guy come out and do some mulching and clear quite a bit so that you can actually, it's hard to tell, but you can see Texas back there. We need to do a little bit more trimming, but that in the horizon is actually Texas and we're on the Oklahoma side. And then we've got a gun range down here that he cleared everything but a bunch of oaks that we can get out to about a 300 yard shot. So really excited to check that out too. So I think that would be a dead turkey. Uh, and this is 20 yards. I mean, I've put a lot in that zone there. It does seem like it's shooting a little bit, patterning a little bit low. So I may need to aim a little bit higher. I don't have an adjustable sight, so I'll just have to know where it's hitting. Um, but not bad for just the basic heavy load. So uh, aimed a little bit higher here. You can see most of my pellets are right here in the middle with some scattering to the outside. So I think uh, I've got a good idea of where I need to aim. Now I'm going to switch to the uh, turkey load and see how all that patterns. I tell you what, that thing kicks. Now I see why people use twenty gauges. So I think I'd have a dead turkey. I'm gonna back up to about thirty yards and see uh, how all it does there. If my shoulder can handle another one. better prepared for that one. So as you can see here, uh, 
I'd still have a dead turkey. I mean, it's starting to spread a little bit more at 30 yards. I don't think I'd extend my range much beyond that, um, but I'm still focused right here. I mean, I've got quite a few here that would uh, would kill a turkey there, so I think I am ready to hunt. So, I got a hit on one of my cameras, like there's actually a couple turkeys walking around by one of my feeders, so uh, they're moving around a little bit. I've heard a couple of gobbles just standing here at the barn, so I'm just going to walk around, call a little bit, and see if I can sit down and maybe call it in tonight. Um, not really oh. expecting too much, but uh, we'll just see what happens. went inside because I wasn't hearing any gobbles so I was just gonna make some breakfast I get in there and I got a hit at my gravity feeder um, that there were hogs there so I jumped in rusty grabbed my 308 drove out to about eh, where I was about 200 yards away walked up to my stand and they were still over here um, just took a shot and I think I killed two of them it also looks like I caught two more raccoons I caught two last night that I uh, came and dispatched already, and it looks like I have two more trapped here. One looks like it may already be dead. Um, I actually have a turkey uh, kind of just standing here wondering what the hell's going on too. I don't really want to spook him. to jump down and check out uh, those hogs, dispose of the raccoons, and I'll show you all what's going on. Alright, so trapped this raccoon here. This actually kind of looks like a possum, not a raccoon. There's the two hogs. Yeah, that's a possum that I caught there. You can see the two hogs that I shot. Trapped another one at a different feeder. This is the feeder that you emptied, so. Ironic. All right, that would be four raccoons already. So I just finished setting up this tripod right here. You can see the chair right there. And I've got a window at my uh, spin cast feeder and my gravity feeder as well. The reason I set this stand up is we primarily have a 
north-south wind. I've got a rifle stand down there. And this allows me to hunt a north-south wind still. And I have very few spots like that.